If you're struggling writing a blog post, one of the things that might be tripping you up is, who am I to write this? Or this is more commonly called in the internet self-help world, imposter syndrome. The idea and fear that you're just an imposter and you're gonna be found out at any second for what a fraud you are. Now, you probably got into writing your business because you have some idols, and that's who you have in mind when you think this. You're comparing yourself to the top of the pile. It's like starting to play basketball and only watching Michael Jordan. Of course, you're gonna feel a little inferior. But writing doesn't work that way. In fact, stories don't work that way. It's the reason every movie and every blog post doesn't always end with, and then I made a million dollars, and then I lived happily ever after. Well, Disney stories do, but like real good movies don't. So a blog post can end in any kind of way. It can end in failure. It can end with realizing you're trapped in mediocrity. It can end with frustration. It can end with a success, but not as big as you thought. It almost doesn't matter. What matters is the journey you take us on. Am I entertained and do I learn something? And I wanna show you an example of this in real time that we did on Growth Lab. It's a post about how I finally learned how to sell. Now, if you read a post about someone overcoming their fear of selling, you probably think it's gonna end with, and then I sold $500,000 and I live in Maui now. But this post doesn't end that way. It ends with the author making $5,000, which, not gonna sneeze at $5,000, but it's not what we come to expect with this kind of topic. But that's why it works. And I'm gonna show you why it works right now. This is What to Do When You're Afraid of Selling Out, which was published on Growth Lab. It's written by Stephanie Lee, who's one of my favorite writers to edit. Now, when you're dealing with imposter syndrome, you're gonna feel compelled to promise the world. Now, that's not what Stephanie does here. Let's take it very quick overview of the outline and the beats of this post and how she uses the vulnerability to her advantage to share something, to tell a story. Now, she drops us right in the middle of the action. Regular Growth Lab viewers will know this is the J.J. Abrams technique, which we covered in another video. But if you notice, Stephanie's not promising numbers or the world. She's just saying, here's how I got over my fear of selling. Let me tell you my experience and how I did it. That's all you need to do when you write a blog post. You're telling your story or the story of someone you interviewed. That's it. You don't need to go overboard. When you're at the beginner and beginner intermediate levels, the smallest shift in mindset can mean a huge difference. You don't have to go super advanced. So here, she talks about the first trigger is realizing she's always been a salesperson. Again, this isn't a super involved technique. It doesn't require a lot of technology or capital. She's just saying, I overcame my fear of selling by realizing I already had it in me. And then she walks us through how that was true. So for Stephanie, selling is she's already sold her ideas as a writer. It's something she does all the time. Someone said to her casually, you must be really good at selling. Light bulb moment. So notice she's not talking about hitting a million dollar quota while selling. It's a small, very surmountable obstacle which she has overcome. That's it. The second trigger she talks about is how selling is really helping someone and she knows what it's like to help someone. You can kind of see it right here. I don't purport to know everything, but I know certain answers that people seek. Again, no numbers, nothing involved. She's just telling her experience honestly and candidly through her eyes. I love it because if I'm right behind her in the process, if I'm overcoming my own fear, these are things I can think to myself and use moving forward. It's a simple, small mountain to overcome and she's helping me. Again, vulnerability. And the third and final thing is that how when you sell something, it's really a signal of trust. That's something we all experience in any relationship. People trust us to do things and we must follow through. That's all a sale is. So again, these are three mental triggers that subtly changed her mindset and now she looks at the world a whole new way. Now, where this ends isn't, oh, now I run my company with 50,000 people. It's, I sold to 17 people totaling $5,000. There's gonna be no New York Times headlines written about that, but I don't care because as a reader, she's taught me something and that's all you have to do, teach me one thing. Hopefully, as we went through that post, you might have seen a little bit of yourself in that post. It's vulnerable, there's struggle, but it doesn't end there. It ends with a lesson. And maybe the Michael Jordan of selling wouldn't learn from this, but all the people at the level of the author will learn a ton, and that's what's important. There's someone just behind you, on the path, on the ladder, who has a ton to learn from you, and you should share that. If you've enjoyed this video, I have a challenge for you. We're looking for content just like this to feature in a future video teardown like this one. So leave the URL to a blog post below and we'll analyze it in a future Growth Lab video.